My name is Luvini Ranasinger, Head of Communications at Interpeace. Could you please introduce yourself to us? Hi, my name is uh, Alexandre Munafo. I'm the Head of Global Engagement at Geneva Call here in Geneva. Thank you very much, uh, Alexandre, for joining us today at the radio corner of Geneva Peace Week's PeaceCast, brought to you by Fondation Hirondel, Interpeace, Genève Vision and Geneva Peace Building Platform. Today, the world is facing unprecedented crises. There's war next to us and there's a lot of conflict happening in each and every part of the world, in each and every region. Geneva Peace Week 2022. In this context, we are still talking about peace in Geneva here today. Why are you here at the opening day of Geneva Peace Week? Well, first, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here and thanks for this initiative. Uh, what we see more and more now is that conflict seems to be everywhere, right? And uh, it seems to be, moreover, very much complex now with a variety of set of actors. At Geneva Core, we are especially, you know, uh, knowledgeable and we have some expertise on engaging armed groups and de facto authorities. But what this work tells us is that with this very complex conflict environment, what should be the very complex landscape of actors working in this, in this environment. And this is where I think the Geneva Peace Week, but also the international system present here in Geneva has a lot to offer. So I'm really glad and looking forward to attend some, some event here that are talking both about the situation, the complexity, but also the solutions that we might see emerging from that. Very interesting, Alexandre. I mean, you're trying to explain to us that peace is, peace is not the job of peace builders alone that you need to bring each and every you, you have to break the silos and bring everyone together around the table to make this happen so this year's geneva peace week under the theme peace is possible my question to you is representing geneva call is peace possible you work in different conflict settings around the world you work in ukraine you work in afghanistan you name it geneva call is there so according to the experience of geneva call is peace possible if so how well, I, I hope that we, like, we could have a, an answer that is short and, and, and quick on that. But I think we should still keep hope on that. And I think that hope comes especially from the, the colleagues, from all the people that we work with and who are leading this effort from the field. And let's, let's really remind ourselves that uh, those are you know, facing this complex environment in the field. They are very often doing the three jobs in the same day. They are peace builders, they are human rights defenders, they are humanitarian engagers. And in a way, they do embody the, the nexus in itself. And these are people that are really inspiring as well. And I know that during that week, a lot of voices, a lot of stories will come from these people especially. And I think they will help us, you know, giving that hope that we all need to, 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 to walk toward peace. Thank you very much for your time. We wish you a happy Geneva Peace Week. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.